Yo, what's good everyone, it's Inu here and welcome back. Yes, I know, I'm trying to be more consistent with my uploads, so if you guys would like to see more videos in the future, be sure to go ahead and drop a like down below. But anyway, today we're going to be making a multi-colored intro, and it's a really simple idea and a really simple way to make an intro. So if you are a beginner in graphic designing and you really need uh, like an urgent intro for your YouTube channel, be sure to go ahead and just, you know, watch the video and learn how. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. Alright, today we're going to be working with this app which obviously called Kind Master. I've been using this app since ever and it's the best editing uh, app out there. So if you guys don't have Kind Master, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and get it. First thing, go ahead and import to your project a background and specifically a white background just like this one. Then go to layers and hit on media which should drive you to your gallery. So go ahead and press on background and use any background you like. I'm gonna use black but remember you can always change the color from here. I'm gonna go with um, a really shiny red just like this. And as you can see you can resize it of course but we're gonna go ahead and crop it. Let's make it a really tall rectangle. I know this oddly looks like a supreme ad, but trust me, it's not a supreme ad. But anyways, go ahead to the in animation of the rectangle that we just created and go all the way down in the animations to the animation that's called enter slide right. So go ahead and press on it and make sure the timing is uh, 1.0 second and it's going to give us this really smooth um, animation that we have right over here. But anyways, let's go ahead now and press on this rectangle and press on those three dots and hit on duplicate, which is gonna give us two rectangles. Now let's go ahead and change its color by pressing on this button. So when you press on the button, it's going to give you this window, which is going to allow you to use any color. I'm gonna go with black. So let's go ahead now and reverse the animation by going to end animation and let's change it from enter slide right to enter slide left. And as you can see, if we play the video, we will have this really cool looking animation. Okay, now duplicate the black rectangle and then you can change its color. Again, you have the choice, change the color and put it like whatever you want. I'm gonna go with a really dark olive green and I think this looks good. But now we need to also change the in animation. Let's go and press to the, uh, on the in animation. And let's maybe put enter slide up, uh, which should be right over here. So go ahead and press on it. And as you can see, if we play the video, you will find out that the green olive uh, rectangle that we just created is messed up a little bit. So what we need to do is to select the brand new rectangle and hit on bring to front. We're going to bring our rectangle to front side of the layers and then as you can see if we play we have fixed everything. Okay look I played around with the animations a little bit and now I have this brand new blue rectangle in the top of everything because I thought it's gonna look cool. You guys can go ahead and do it as well. It's really really easy and simple. Now what you need to do is to press on the white background or the clip, the original clip and then it's going to pop something like this. Press on the scissors button which should be located in the top and then it's gonna give you all these options. Go to the moment when all the rectangles and its animation and press on split at the playhead and then you should have two clips. Now press on the second clip which is this one and press on this button and it should give you something like this. Now change the color of this clip to the exact same color as the brand new rectangle on the top. And oh my god, it took me a really long time to figure out how to make the, the color of the rectangle and the background the exact same color, but I made it and now let's go ahead and press on the translation which should be located between the two clips, which is this white button. Press on it and go to the fun translations and use this circle uh, translation and change it to wipe outwards and as you can see if you press on it it's going to change it and we will have this sort of animation and as you can see if we play it it's gonna look really cool well maybe i'm gonna go ahead and adjust it a little bit and let's go ahead and play this again and that looks actually pretty perfect now let's go ahead and add a text layer of course put in your name and we need to remove the shadow so disable that 
and then resize it you can also change the font if you want make it a little bit bolder which is going to make it looks really good now as you can see right here it's kind of boring honestly but if you go ahead and press on it and add an end animation which is enter slide down what's basically gonna happen is that it's gonna give us this really cool looking uh, animation everything looks pretty synced together of course now let's go ahead and crop everything and make the intro as you know as long as you want so as you can see uh it's pretty amazing the intro is really easy to make and then at the end you will have this really dope uh, clean looking intro and you can of course change the colors and it's pretty much ready you can now go ahead and drop music into this intro and put it on your youtube channel so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys want me to do more intro tutorials in the future you know the more advanced one be sure to go ahead and drop a like down below because why not you know and thank you guys so much for watching and as always i catch you guys next time peace out